I'm gonna show you how I keep track of my own games, uh, how I list them, how I'm sending them, and how I keep track of my own profit. Uh, the first sheet, it's uh, this one with the games. Here I list my games. You can see we have months when I sold the games when or when I listed. Here you can see if I listed or if I sold them with N and L. Okay, now I'm going to show you an overview of what I have. The next one is the fee calculator. Here you can uh, calculate the fees of the games and how much profit you can earn. For example, you buy a game of let's say 130 euro and you sell it for 299. As you can see here, your profit is going to be 92 cents after you sell the game for 299. 0.77 cents goes to G2A after the commission and sell cost and other taxes and this goes to you 222. This is the profit. Uh, the next one is the bundles. Here you can create your own bundle, 5 bundles, 10 bundles, 20 bundles. Uh, here are my bundles right now that I listed. Um, all you have to do is just click, let's say you buy a bundle of 10 games or 5 games, you click here and the bundle is created right here. All you have to do is just input the data of the games and how much they cost. Okay, here, um, actually I'm going to enter later in this, let's go back to the next one. The next one is CD keys. Uh, usually I don't really use this very much, but I pay paste the CD keys here with the name of the game, just to have it easier when I uh, sell it on GTA, just copy paste in GTA. Um, here you can track the games you haven't sold, just click here and press no. Right, it's just a simple table. I'm gonna put it back. Okay, let's uh, move on. So back to the games. Uh, here you can list your games. Uh, you can see how much you paid for, how much are you selling them for, and if they were sold already or they are not sold yet, or they are not even listed. For example, I have a game here which I bought uh, and immediately, like, I don't know, five people bought it too and the price deteriorated so much that you would lose money if you listed, if you sold the game for the cheapest price. So I just, I, I decided not to list and wait. Um, here, here is the overview, here is the total of everything, including the games I have sold so far, including the games I have, I didn't sold yet and the games I didn't yet listed. Uh, same for the profit. Uh, this is basically the overall profit and overall investment I've done in all months, including the games I have not listed and didn't sold yet. Yeah, so here, here, it's, here are the fees. Uh, as you can see, there are many fees and anyone is going to do a different thing. I'm going to explain a bit later why you apply each one and where they are applied. Uh, the button, here is a reset button, for example. Uh, let's say I want to see the games only for April that I sold and uh, yeah that I sold so I click here I select month April then I go to the sold and I select yes and here you can see the investment 51 euro and here is the profit uh, 16 euro that I've done in April so I invested 51 euro I've made uh, 16 euro uh, this button here, filter reset, just resets instead of you going back here, selecting, uh, blah, blah, blah. Just press once here, reset, and it's going to reset. Um, the profit uh, has formulas inside, so don't change anything in here. Um, ah, by the way, here the profit uh, calculates every data you that's not uh, minus 0 0.31. So it ignores, the profit here ignores this. 031 okay so basically this is the profit um, the, on the profit uh, it's applied only the sell cost and the commission that uh, G2A takes then you have to manually input uh, the 0 015 cents which is uh, right here this column so let's let me show with an example uh, let's say it's uh, it's May 5, 19, 2017, FIFA 17, it's a bundle, no it's not a bundle, I, let's say I bought the game for 20 euro and I'm selling it for 26 euro, 
have I sold it? No. Okay. As you can see here, automatically inputs the profit, how much you earn. But this is not complete. So you're gonna go here on fees. As you can see here, item listing it's uh, zero fifteen cents. So you're gonna increment by one every time it happens. Every time you change, uh, you add the game. So we added only once. Okay. Um, let's say fourteen days passed and the game was not sold yet. We increment by another one. Let's say uh, the price deteriorates, uh, lowers a bit. We, we're gonna change our price too. Let's say we are gonna increment by another one. So it calculates the fees every time it's applied. So practically, these fees of zero fifteen uh, are dynamic, right? Uh, they can change automatically because fourteen days passed and the game was not sold. So basically, the renewal uh, of the game basically is like action house. You, you list an item for a period of time. If it's not sold. You have to pay again the fee for listing it and so on. If you change the price of the game, again, you have to pay 0 0.15 cents and so on. <coughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's how it works with the fees and this column right here. <coughs> um, yeah, let, let's check. Uh, let's just make a test. Let's check uh, only the games I have sold so far in... Uh, mm bought my months gonna go to the sold the select everything yes so basically this is my overall uh, my actual profit so far I invested the 73 euro and I made 40 euro only from the games I sold so far uh, during a span of a month so in a month I invested 73 euro I made the 40 euro it's a pretty good uh, deal but uh, takes time takes a lot of time and more money the more money you have the more money you're gonna make easy just like that you're gonna reset here in the press yes uh, let's go to the next one GTA fee calculator uh, this one yes I, I already showed you how it works but I'm just gonna do it another so basically you pay a game for a euro um, you want to sell it for 1 euro 88 you see the on GTA is the cheapest you're gonna make a profit of 23 cents uh, here more than 10 actions sold uh, this fee applies if you if you sold more than 10 games so far most of you probably sold already more than 10 games otherwise you probably wouldn't even care about uh, shit but who knows <laughs> okay so in case you didn't sold 10 more than 10 games just press no and this fee is gonna be zero and the profit is going to be higher by 15 cents but I'm going to keep it on yes because I have sold more than 10 games and yeah in case you want to reset just press reset re-enter the prices and so on okay let's move on on the bundles so I already showed you here um, basically let's say you buy a bundle of 10 games you press here the bundle is going to be created you only need to input uh, the game names, how much you paid for the game, let's say you pay 3 euro and here uh, here I usually check the prices, for example here uh, the bad thing with bundles is uh, they, they are really cheap which is good but everyone buys them and everyone gonna sell the games inside so the price prices is gonna deteriorate a lot so you have to wait like a month or more <coughs> until you can sell um yeah so basically i bought this game at 17 uh, april and the prices were 1 euro 84 cents and so on after a month later the prices deteriorated a lot like half for some uh, it's not the same thing for this bundle for this bundle the prices increased a month later as you can see here um, yeah, usually you have to wait like a month or more until you can sell the games or some of them as a case it runs from 20 cent games which that's that's really bad yeah, so basically this was it um, yeah GTA uh, I've made like 181 euros so far I'm doing this for a few months now 
didn't invest too much because yeah don't have too much money to invest right now but yeah it can be very profitable if you put time in it and you search for the games that are really cheap and then sell them on GTA with a higher price Alright, uh, now I'm gonna show you how I'm doing with um, with the GTA fee calculator, how I'm applying it um, I'm gonna minimize this uh, Wait a second no. Like that, yes So basically this is how I'm doing it when I'm checking for games I usually make it even smaller actually and I have a program uh, named uh, always on top so basically this program keeps my excel file on top and I only in order to check the profits and the fees applied uh, I keep this file open and I search for games so basically this is how I do it I, I keep the file like this as you can see I don't keep um, I don't keep it here with this how much you paid for the game because uh, at some point you're gonna get used to it and you're gonna keep in mind how much that game costs and it's gonna be a, a faster process when you're searching for games and checking the prices and profit so basically that is how I'm doing I keep this here I press controls control spacebar okay and this is gonna be on top now every time I change something in the background as you can see so I found a game earlier named uh, Faced. This game is very cheap at the moment, very cheap and very expensive on GTA. As you can see here, it's two euro ninety nine cents. Uh, keep in mind two euro ninety nine cents, and now check on GTA how much it costs. Eight euro and thirty nine cents. This is this is huge right now. 80 euro and 39 cents so keep in mind you pay for the game to 2.99 and you want to sell it for 8.39 right so basically your profit is gonna be around 5 euro this game it's uh, really really good right now if you want to make some profit um, by the way sometimes this price here is not really accurate with what's uh, inside the price of but I'm gonna just show you right now as an example you can even uh, make this bigger and keep both, both the how much you paid for the game and how much you you're selling the game for, so just to have a really nice input. So you, let's say you buy the game for two ninety nine, you sell it for eight thirty nine. The profit is going to be four euro, as you can see here. After all the commissions applied and taxes and so on, then you move on to the next game and so on.